There's only two times during the year on Epic Games Store where should you really pay attention because the biggest games of the year are happening. The first one is in December, of mm -hmm. course, and the second one is in May. It's coming! It's, it's coming. coming soon. In a few weeks, actually, we made a video explaining what the mystery vault games are. Well, it's not actually official, but we know it's coming. And in that video, we say exactly when we think they'll be announced, what it means that these are mystery vault games. But in brief, it means that we expect this vault to open this picture to be shown up on March 12th. Yes. Which will mean that in one week, the vault will open and a big popular game will be free to keep. Four times. So for four, four games for four weeks. Now, if you've been living under a rock, the very first time this happened, when the vault opened, it was GTA 5. Then some other big games that year. Last year, the second year of vault games, it was Among a, Us. It was a, and others. A bit more disappointing. This year, we think it's gonna be big. Yes, because we're already getting AAA games even now, right before like, Vault Games. Like the normal, non-mystery, non-Vault games. And one more proof. We got AAA three games. Tomb Raider Definite Edition Trilogy with all the LCs mm -hmm. during Christmas. Yep. That is big. That, and that's why we think Epic does have the money. Mm -hmm. The Fortnite is still working so well for them, so they yep. can afford it. And it seems like they are really ramping up. I mean, this month we got Total War Warhammer. XCOM 2. XCOM 2. These are $60 games even now. So what could be bigger and better than that? Well, there are some popular theories that people definitely want. And our channel, we are a community of gamers. So we already asked them. And even with their answers, they told us what they wish. From world games. Surprise, there surprise. Are three games, and there's a pattern in there. So, first one is, of course, Red GT. Yeah, that too, but the games that were not free before is Red Dead Redemption 2, mm -hmm. there's Max Payne 3, mm -hmm. and of course, GTA 5 <laughs> to be free again. Yeah, 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 of course. Do you know what these games have in common? I do. Yeah. Rockstar. Yeah. So, there people want Rockstar games. Yeah. These three I just mentioned, but basically any. Mm. And that's what uh, came true during the first World Games. Now, what is true is that a lot of these vault games in the past have been from Take Two. Yeah. Take Two, which owns Rockstar and owns 2K. Um, so I think for me, when I was making my list, I was looking at the publishers that cooperate with the Epic Games Store a lot and mm -hmm. have some big games that have not been free before. So I tried to list some of those that I think are a little bit more realistic than Red Dead Redemption 2 or GTA 5, because I gotta be honest, I, I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. Now, our friend, Low Budget Gaming, you should check out his channel. He also has a video doing prediction. We're doing kind of a friendly competition to see who can get more right. He has some interesting things to say about GTA 5 being free. So go check out, check out his channel. And he has some ideas that we actually cross mind. So we're gonna be uh, saying some of his ideas as well. It's true, it's true. So starting with what in the beginning was the biggest developer to cooperate with Epic Games, Ubisoft. Mm -hmm. uh, on my side, I looked at all of the big games from Ubisoft that like haven't been free before and actually aren't even on the Epic Games Store. Because I don't think it's going to be Assassin's Creed Odyssey or, or Valhalla or something like that. Yeah. But, Mikhail. You know it. Assassin's Creed Black Rebel Black. Collection. What? <laughs> the Black Assass Flag. The Assassin's Creed Rebel Collection. Because just Black Flag would not be enough What's for a vault game. I don't know, I'm not familiar with the Rebel mm -hmm. Collection. Mm -hmm. Is it multiple Assassin's Creed games? Yes, it includes Assassin's Creed Rogue. Okay. And Assassin's Creed Black Flag. So, <laughs> it would mean giving away not just Assassin's Creed Black Flag, that for some reason has never been on the Epic Game Store, but two Assassin's Creed games That would games break together. the, I mean, it's possible, but we didn't witness it before. The world games were always one game, big game, and that was not free before. I'm, I'm, you think I'm okay it could with be it. two games? I'm okay with it. Okay. That. Yep. 
Well, I think it could be Dying Light 1 because the second one was uh, released not so long time ago mm -hmm. and maybe people who already wanted to buy it now already did. So first one might be a possibility and we mentioned low budget gaming. It's on his list also. Mm -hmm. So he also thinks so. Why not? Okay. So you... That would fit the idea. If it was true, you and LBG would get a point and I would not. Okay. Basically, yeah. <laughs> but still, it would, it would be a great game to have. So another uh, company that cooperates a lot with Epic Games, most of their games have been free on the Epic Games Store at least once. That is Team 17. One of their big games that has never been free, Hell Let Loose. And we got like already more than 10 games from them, so... And this is probably their biggest mm -hmm. world war type yeah. type game, so it it yeah. it would make sense. Yeah. What if it's a game that a lot of you wants to be free as well? About the year? Because Fall Guys were bought by Epic and it's actually exactly a year ago that it was announced, and it's only a matter of time before it either goes free or free to play as Rocket League did mm -hmm. when they bought Rocket mm -hmm. League. So it could be a good candidate for world games. It would be definitely a big one. Because doing world games, there was always some multiplayer game. Mm -hmm. It's true. So then I was looking at Deep Silver and some of the games that would be a good fit for vault games that have not been free before. Man Eater. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good candidate. I don't think it's sold as well as they were hoping, so it could be free, but still people could be excited about it. If not that, if they really want to go big, Chorus. Chorus? Chorus the game. We did review the Chorus. We did. And I don't think it was such a big success, so to promote it, it, it that was, would be a good choice. It released yeah. released last year. It's a the solid game. Is game. Good. It's the a game good game. Good. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, a big, it's a big deal. I don't know if it would get people really excited because the marketing was not, mm. like, get, didn't I get think people, people hyped. people would be glad to get it. it would I be, hope. It would be a great game to be a vault game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And when you were talking about Ubisoft, I have one other game. Crew 2. Uh, that's again low budget gaming things as well and we think Ubisoft uh, well we actually know for a fact that Ubisoft has a really good cooperation with Epic yep. and they didn't release any free game for some time so really think it's going to happen soon mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. the world game is good time yeah that Crew 2 would be a, yeah. a, good, a good option for that and talking again about Take 2 so I look through all of the Rockstar games. Okay. I honestly don't see any games there that were not free before because the Vault games don't really repeat free games no, from what we've seen. didn't happen before, yeah. so... I don't see anything on the Rockstar side, honestly, that seems like a good candidate. Now, on the uh, 2K side, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm kind of taking this idea from LBG, but I looked at the list also and I thought, yeah, that's a great idea. The Bioshock Collection. You it's think the collection? Again. The whole collection. On a, whole yeah, collection, not whole just collection. one game. Not, uh, one game would not be enough. It could be the Bioshock, the last one, Infinite. Right? Even that. Compared to the games, that, the non-mystery games we've had. You mean like, Among like, Us? <laughs> fair enough. But we think it's going to be big this year. So <coughs> I'm, going, I'm going wish. with the Bioshock collection. It's a bit old now, but I think people would be excited if they haven't been able to buy it so far. I haven't played it. So. I actually haven't played it. I own yeah. it, but I haven't been able to play it. Yeah. Uh, I have one more game, mm -hmm. and that is not specific game. I think there could be some Lego game free because... Well, Lego just invested one billion dollars in Epic to cooperate on creating the multiverse. So they have a pretty good relationship and Lego games have been free before in the Epic Game Store. Ba Lego Batman. Batman. Lego yeah. Batman. But none yeah. others. None others. Mm -hmm. So we could definitely get more. And finally on my list, a new company on the Epic Game Store that has actually just given away one of their games for free uh, during the Christmas games. Okay. And that is Bethesda, mm. the publisher. So more, more correctly, ZeniMax. They have a lot you of their games. Rage 2. Uh, I mean, that was free, but a mystery game okay. and during Christmas was Prey. Ah, uh -huh, right. Yeah. So they have given away games for free. They've agreed to that deal. There are a lot of the Bethesda games that are not on the Epic Game Store yet, which actually makes them slightly better candidates to be a vault game. My pick out of those, Doom. Doom, 
You How? mean Doom or Doom Eternal? I mean Doom. I okay. think it's more likely that it's Doom okay. to get people to buy Doom Eternal. You mean Doom one from 1995? No. I mean from, <laughs> what, 2016 or okay. something something like okay. that. The reboot th- of the Doom. I yeah. think people would be extremely excited, yeah. but it's not like giving away the most recent game. Yeah. That would make sense. That would make and sense. make people happy as well. And finally, talking about LEGO investment uh-huh. in Epic, uh-huh. Sony Games also invested $1 billion of their own money in the Epic Games to cooperate with LEGO and Epic to build the multiverse. There's some Sony Games out there that would be huge if they went free. What do you think are the Lucky chances one. that Days Gone, Horizon Zero Dawn... That would be big. The... Is the Uncharted collection going? The Thieves collection going to be out at that point? It, well, that's not going free. Yeah, that's, that, that's going to sell. Well, like Horizon cupcakes. is pretty old game now, and since it was released on PC many years later, that could be possible. It's I. Mean, it's very I don't new think Days Gone. Mm. I think Days Gone is too soon. But mm. Horizon, yeah. Because Sony also, be big. Sony also has a very good relationship with Epic. They haven't given away a game on the Epic Game Store for quite a while. Uh huh. So, if we're really dreaming, Horizon Zero Dawn, maybe Days Gone, if Epic Games is ready to pay a lot for it. Yeah. That would be, like, the ultimate. And we really think that this time it's going to be big. At least bigger than the last year. Yeah. Because we're already getting big games, AAA games, and next to those AAA games, we're getting smaller games. And this, and Epic could divide it easily, put XCOM 2 and Total War Warhammer as an old games, and nobody would probably mm-hmm. complain. Mm-hmm. But they decided to release it before that. So we hope and th- think this is the, ind- the indication that something big is coming. Because don't forget, they do these vault games also to promote their biggest sale of the year in which they usually have a very powerful coupon that takes lots of money off of lots of games. We will make another video about what we expect from the coupon, what kind of deals there will be, so check out that as well. There's a lot to be excited about. Tell us your list down in the comments. Tell us which of our guesses you think is more likely. Or if we did miss some game that there's some indication it could be Big world games yeah. from Epic. Let's gather. Them. Let's gather all yeah. the information here. Tell us, tell yeah. us everything. Maybe we'll make a second video if there's lots of good tips yeah. and information. Sure. Sure. Thanks for watching. Let's get hyped and remember, we will be live streaming and reviewing every one of the vault games, doing predictions, doing guesses, like all about this. Not only that, remember that we're actually live streaming every Thursday when there's a new <laughs> free true. games from. It's true. Epic. So. And we're having some big ones, so you don't want to yeah. miss those either. Stay with us. You will never be bored again. See you. Bye.